All right, welcome back, guys. Sean here with Blue Ridge, and we are going to take a look, probably for the last time, um, the 2024 Lincoln Sense. They are live. Yes, uh, I know we've been waiting for it, and um, there are a few realized sales as of today, which is, uh, ooh, what is it, January 26th or something like that. Uh, but anyways. Yeah, we have some uh, we have some late breaking sales to talk about um, coming here from about the last forty eight to seventy two hours, and um, yeah, I mean if you were one of the um, the number of people that took advantage of the advice that I gave you guys, congratulations, you have made money. Now is this window completely closed and shut? No, of course not. There's still going to be some opportunity for you guys to go out there and look for some of these. Um, now, uh, you know, we're going to take a look and see what is currently actively out there in the marketplace. Um, as of right now, of course, you know, there's there's going to be um, some price movements and we're, we're going to see this, this line drop uh, right around now. Uh, and that's that the big primary reason is that, you know, the the number of boxes that made it out into the marketplace or rolls or however they're constructed uh, for the auction, um, ha, you know, the people that really wanted them probably got theirs. All right. And uh, again, I, I'm telling you, it was a very short window. Um, there were a lot of people that, that had mentioned like, you know, why are people paying this kind of money? You know, Blue Ridge Silverhound, you're a fool to even insinuate that this even happens. But it happens every year, whether I talk about it or not. So, we're going to talk about it today. Um, you know, so that way, every single one of you is going to be made aware. All right? So, are both Philadelphia and Denver minted coins being found out there? That's a, que that's a great question. And from what I've seen, it's been mostly Denver. Yeah, I'm. I'm not. I'm not joshing you or anything like that. We have seen more Denver rolls of 2024 Lincoln cents than any other coin. All right. Now, and also the reason why I don't talk about some of the other denominations is that those coins don't sell for nearly as much on the secondary market. Whether that be nickels, dimes, dimes especially do not sell for anything. Quarters possibility because you know you got brand new designs every few months with this american women program that we're currently sitting in um so we have this tried and true listing here uh which i did talk about crappy feedback by the way this is the one guy that i did not trust um they had two sold one they have one available at 250 bucks does not specify whether it's p or d uh, based off of the fact that there's no mid mark, you would figure it's Philadelphia, but the pictures are quite lousy on this one. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and move on from that one. There's a few people selling other different things in there. Uh, here's some folks here. Actually, this looks like the same person because of the background. Um, here's a lot of 10 2024 Denver rolls for $169 which is $16.90 per each. I know that sounds stupid, but they're just playing off the market. They're trying to do the whole buy it now, you know, let's go ahead and seal the deal at this price. You know, it seems like a very honest way of doing it, but that's not going to last. That price will drop quite a bit. Um, as a matter of fact, the fact that that is still on there at $169 indicates that the market is on its way down. Um, so these here, these are all going to sit here unless this person pivots with the market just to move the inventory or else they're going to be looking at 30 days out. They're going to be sitting on this shit by the time it's all said and done. Yeah, I, I said it. I said it shit because these coins will be basically a boat anchor in about 30 days to 60 days unless you do something about it. Um, so that's our seller right there. Uh, here's some live 2024 Denver coins. Um, this is for one roll on hand and ready to ship. $24.99 or best offer. Again, this is a stupid way of selling these. Like I said, there's no expectation of value when you go to sell these. Start them out at $0.99 cents 
and just let them fly in a five to seven day auction scenario and then cash in. All right. Do not set the table. Do not set the market with these ridiculous prices because they will never go anywhere. See, it's still sitting there. It, it, none of these are moving. Um, here's that the same pre-sale. Th those are just static, you know, whatever. Uh, here's another roll, one roll for $23 of Denver's. Again, that, that price is, um, it's no good anymore. That, that, that price right there has, has since expired, and you'll see here why in a moment. Uh, 2024D, this is for eight rolls, 115. Again, way too high. Um, here's a 2024P Lincoln Scent Roll, uh, brilliant, uncirculated, free shipping. Now, this is the one to keep an eye on because this would signify probably the first, you know, couple lots of P Mint rolls. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? Those are the most desirable, not the Denver's, okay? Um, because the people that are buying those are buying them for varieties. They're buying them for mint errors. And then third, it's going to be for grading, you know, for registry sets, things like that. And they want to get out of gate quick with those type of things. There's another Denver lot, uh, five rolls for 100 bucks, way too high. There's another one there, $94. Again, th th this is all stuff that's just going to sit there, and it's going to go stale. So um, pre-sale, no more pre-sale business. We're beyond that because there's actual live product out there. Here's a 2024D Lincoln Shield Penny Box, $25 face, 50 rolls for $300. Okay, this one will probably end up selling. Uh, they have this one. With just under two days remaining, and this is kind of like that sale that you want to see, right? Uh, two ninety nine is a decent floor for something like this. We're still kind of in that honeymoon phase of the product. Um, this one right here for five hundred ninety bucks, get it out of here. That that's that same guy that we talked about uh, like ten days ago. Um, that was that didn't really have the product. All right, so. So those are the, the live ones. If you go on beyond that, you're not going to see any more 2024. Um, all in all, there's about maybe 15 to 20 listings of 2024 pennies. So here's the um, the sold listings thus far. Okay, so obviously you're going to have a few of these one one roll lots that sell for 25 bucks. Okay, I, I know I dig on it. Um, you know, I, I take a jab at it and, and you say, I don't really like the price. I really don't. Um, that that's, um, you know, for buy now it's, it's price gougy, but if you're doing it by auction and you let people determine the worth at its apex, then they'll go ahead and bid it up to however much they feel it's worth. All right. So that's, that's my opinion on it. Some of you will probably have a different stance there. Uh, so case in point, one roll, 2024 Lincoln Penny Shield Sense, BU roll from Fedbox, uh, it says pre-sale for $9 plus $4.55 for shipping. So that's $13.55, 11 bids. Again, keyword, pre-sale. When it's a pre-sale, that means it doesn't exist in physical form in front of that person's eyes. Um, so you're going to be waiting around for that. And by the time that happens, guys, again, it could be a month or two later on down the road before you, uh, you, uh, um, grab that inventory. Again, the price will be stale. They're not going to be worth it at that time at that price. Uh, another pre-sale here, uh, just some odds and ends, um, 2024P, uh, this one looks to be a legit offering for 30 bucks. All right, Philadelphia roll. That's that's the big one right there. Uh, let's see. We're at January twenty third. There are a few lots here. Um, here's another one hundred two thousand twenty four D Lincoln cents. These are loose. All right, thirty dollars there. Here's a pre sale for forty bucks. And here is of course the big one that you guys need to know about. This is the one lot of two thousand twenty four. D Denver rolls 30 rolls, ladies and gentlemen, that sold for $265 for 30 rolls. Okay, which puts them at about $8.75 per uh per each. All right, which is not too bad. That is pretty damn good right there for that one. 
And uh, this one is, uh, it's correct, it's legit. You can actually see up close, great photos, by the way, whoever took this. Yeah, that's how you, that's the correct way you're supposed to do it. You set it at a low price, you do an auction, and you let the market determine how much the value is on these. Um, and there you go. That is proof in the pudding that these things sell for a lot of damn money right out of the gate. I'm telling you. And the reason why I'm so impassioned about it is because I've had a lot of haters come in these comments like, oh, it must be shill bidding. Nobody really pays for this, uh, for these rolls at that kind of price level. I'm like, dudes, dudettes, you guys have to understand all right, there is a very small community of people that buy these, okay? You have your main attributors, all right, that go out of their way to buy these at whatever cost on day one. And we call this day one drop, day one inventory. Um, you also have the people that attribute errors. They're looking for the first things that they can make newsworthy, whether they, you know, go find something and get it attributed um, or diagnosed and put onto a, a publication like Coin World or Coin Week. That's also another big thing. Um, and then the registry sets. All right, there are people that will go and and look through thousands of brand new coins on day one, and they they pick out the best ones. They send it off to PCGS in the hopes of that mid state sixty eight or sixty nine or seventy grade, um, the top of its class. So that way it can be sold for a lot of money on the secondary market um, as a graded coin to a registry set specialist. There, that's that's what I wanted to say in regards to that. Hopefully I made it absolutely 100% clear that there's no, there's no pulling wool over anybody's eyes. And again, the opportunity exists now. As you can see, we talked about a lot of Denver Mint rolls. There's barely, if any p-mint rolls out there right now so while the denvers are quite plentiful out there in circulation where the heck are the philadelphia rolls all right they don't drop at the same time they, they never have every single year it would always be one over the other by about a week and you know i'm telling you the philadelphia mint rolls are the ones that sell for the most amount of money because of the lack of quality control on those coins when they're being produced by the philadelphia mint there's more room for error and oftentimes you're going to see that those quality control measures kind of go lax on product and coinage that is produced at a high volume and that's your lincoln sense here folks so hopefully i was able to kind of put in a little bit of uh you know, uh, perspective on it and how it all works. Um, kind of understand the analytics and why, you know, these things do sell for a lot of money when they first hit the streets. And now you know why. All right. It's no longer a big secret. I talk about it every single year. So it shouldn't really be a secret now in 2024 when I've been talking about the same topic this same time every year, two, three weeks in to the month of January, going back for what? eight, nine, 10 years that I've brought this up and now you guys are just now believing me or discovering it for yourself. I'm telling you, this is a big business, okay? And people want to take advantage of these coins on day one. So why not take advantage of the market, okay? We, we live in a capitalist society where you could, you know, pay a cost for something and sell it for 10 times, you know, on the secondary market. Nothing wrong with that. You know, we all tend to forget every time we walk into a friggin' Walmart or we walk into a Home Depot and we take a look at something that's a hundred dollars. You know, it's like, yeah, they the the cost of manufacturing that one item is ten dollars. But nobody seems to think about it, right? It's all it's always about, you know, little nuances like this, you know, where a, a YouTuber like myself talks about it and then everybody wants to th throw stones. OK, before before actually hearing me out or, you know, proving whether it's true or false, you know. Um, so but we don't think about it on a grander scale when we go to buy that tube of toothpaste that costs 25 cents to make. And we're paying six dollars for the damn thing. So um, if you look at it that way, in retrospect, this is kind of more of a bargain. Yeah. So 
that's uh, that's what I wanted to talk about. So hopefully you guys got a little bit of a quick little market update insight on what's happening on these 2024 pennies and Lincoln cents, pennies and cents. So, you know, I have one over the other, apparently. Um, but yeah, enjoy it. Go out there, talk to your banks. Go out there and talk to your tellers, your banking professionals, your managers, you know, and all that. And see if you get these. Because the Philadelphias are still very live out there for some big gains. If you need money right now, take the time, go to the bank, do a little bit of work, and uh, and make it happen, you know. And uh, someone had asked me, well, how do I go to the bank and ask for these? Do I just ask straight up for tw uh, brand new uh, Lincolns? Hell yes. Go in there and say, I'm a collector. I'm looking for a brand new bag box of 2024 Lincoln cents. Okay. Do you have them? And then they will tell you. They will go out of their way to examine their boxes. Like, oh yeah, we just got these in the other day. You know, and then, um, and then take the time to inspect them together. And, and and go go about it that way. And then you guys will um, you'll have a friend for life. If things work out, you get a box and you turn out turns out that you turn around and flip it for hundreds of dollars, or maybe he or she gives you a few boxes, five boxes, you never know. Uh, then you know you definitely deserve to get that person like a gift card or something because if you're profiting 10 to 15 X off of a $25 bank box, I think they deserve a gift card, all right? So, um, yeah, a little common etiquette when it comes to things like this. Uh, the, another thing that you guys need to know about if you don't know already. Um, but that's it. That's uh, that's my uh, my little spiel on the brand new coins for the year. Um, you know, in two weeks or, or so, you know, this conversation will mean a lot less and I won't talk about it anymore. Um, because that window is at that time closed and all of these coins, ladies and gentlemen, are in circulation. So there you go. Well, that's it. I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful rest of your night. Happy hunting. Hopefully, hopefully you're enjoying the hobby as much as I am. And uh, yeah, you guys take care. See ya.